Hello everyone, my name is Mike and welcome to Points of Interest, where we highlight some of the most interesting destinations on the planet. On this episode, we'll be traveling all throughout Ireland to show you Newgrange, the Polnebron Dolmen, and finally, the Browns Hill and Gallstone Dolmens. Touring these ancient sites was the highlight of my trip. We hope you enjoy the results. Tim? Taking the bus over to Newgrange. Parked over, uh, there's a visitor center over here across the river. And if you can tell, it looks like this river's flooded. And over here, you can see how the uh, fences and stuff, like this is all a property line. So I don't, I don't know if the uh, bike's picking it up, but the wind's blowing fairly decently. And, uh, but all in all, it's a good day. It's just gray for Irish Spring. So we are headed up to um, Newgrange right now. We just got here, it's about noon. Um, so this, I think if I remember correctly, was excavated in 67 and then in 75. There's 97 megalithic stones surrounding the entire site. And apparently the passageway in here is about 5,000 years old. Unfortunately, we are not allowed to record inside here, but um, we're about to go through. The uh, passageway, it gets, it gets real narrow. She was saying that uh, back then people were about four foot 11. So coming in here at six foot two, um, it's gonna be, uh, you know, basically crawling through this tunnel. But looking forward to it, this place is 5,000 years old. She was telling us it's older than Stonehenge, it's older than the pyramids. And um, some of these stones on average weigh about three tons. Um, these outside large stones, up to seven tons, and they were brought from like 20 kilometers away. The whole area has been um, designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site. So all this land here, they, they think there are still other mounds that have been undiscovered. Oh uh, man, I really wish we could have gotten some footage in there because that was amazing. Where they've built things out of these, you know, these monolithic stones, some giant stones. And that's what, like, this whole patch is going in there. Like, you have to cut, basically, like, I had to bend over and crawl in the whole way. And uh, then you get in there, and it's just this, this chamber. Like, the whole place is shaped like a cross, basically. And um, the design of the, the structure in the top is called corbeling. And it's rocks stacked one on top of each other out in this outward direction with a, a giant stone put on the top, and the weight of that puts the pressure on it. And uh, for 5,000 years, it's kept that place completely watertight and away from the elements. Just really breathtaking. Once we finished up at Newgrange, our next stop was the Polnebron Dolmen in County Clare. Situated deep within the limestone paved Carstlands, known as the Burren, this may be the most well-known and most visited dolmen on the island, dating all the way back to the Neolithic period. And we could not have been happier. Headed on down to this portal tomb for the Dolem. I've been super excited about it. This is like one of the main things I wanted to see. There's a bunch all over the island. And this is the first one of the trip. This one's about, I think it said around 6,000 years old. With about 30 bodies discovered here. <laughs> yes. From the main path, there were a bunch of signs that filled in information on the Dolmen. What they were and how they came to be here. The dolmen, or portal tombs as they are known, usually consist of three parts. The two vertical megaliths on the sides, which hold up the very large capstone over the top. Sometimes they would be covered up with dirt, much like Newgrange. But by the time most were excavated, these skeletons of stone were all that remained. Historians believe that these sites were important for ritual, burial, or even as territory markers. But thanks to artifacts and remains from the area, we know that this tomb dates back to at least 3200 BC. Dolmen like these can be found all over the island and all over the world. But we were done here, so on to the next one. Dolmen Stock of Brunei. That would be it. So this is the Browns Hill Dolmen or Portal Stone. Um, apparently this capstone here is 150 tons. It's the largest in Europe. I guess uh, this one they don't know as much as the other ones about. Usually there's like a uh, burial mound or something usually around these, which this one doesn't have. But uh, as you can see, the stone is massive. 
and you can actually just come right up in here and explore it and check it out. On the road to our next stop, we marveled at how different each part of Ireland can be. Around every corner, we found a place just as beautiful, if not more so, than the last. And the Gallstown Dolmen was no different. Yeah, so um, we're at another dolmen. Dolmen. Um, I was told maybe that's not the way to pronounce it, but uh, the road is closed, so we walk down here, and uh, it looks like there's just like a little path off here into the woods. So we're gonna adventure on down and check it out, and see what we find. This is almost this is like the other one's amazing, but this is like this little secret spot. Um, I mean, there's no cars out here or any other travelers or people. I mean, this is just like right off a little path in the woods and uh, it's really, really kind of cool. It has a whole different feel to it as opposed to the other place. I mean, this one, there's nothing barring this one. I think it's just maybe not. There's all these places here in Ireland that are like old castles and different things that you can just walk up to and they don't really have kind of anything set up in terms of like a lot of it just feels forgotten um, kind of like this I mean this is just right off a path here and um, it's really amazing from castles to dolmen from hillsides to mountaintops there is so much to see and do on the Emerald Isles but we've only scratched the surface if you have any fun stories you'd like to share let us know down in the comments below we always love to hear from you Follow us on social media for all the latest updates. We'll see you back here next time for more fun and adventure. But until then, travel smart and have a great week.